Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Gun Toting Mama's Concealed Carry Purse. So this one is the GTM 22. Uh, it is the American Tooled Leather Purse. Um, I've been testing it all week. We got this on DeVore, which is a subsidiary of Optics Planet. You get great deals that way, so be sure and look down in the listings and get yourself a DeVore membership. This gun and all these guns we're using, of course, are unloaded. This holster is here in what I'm going to call the front pocket of the purse. Got a nice big Velcro pad so that you can have it all over the place. And then it's a right or a left angle. So for your left-handed people like me, you can get in either direction. And you have the option of carrying it with this side out or with this side out. This is a Ruger LCR 38, a little snub nose. But the holster will fit multitudes of guns. This is a SIG 365 XL. That's a M&P Shield uh, EZ 9mm. And then for more of a full size gun, this is the SIG P320 compact version. So all of them would fit just fine in the purse. So it, you could get that zipped on any of those, those guns there and gives you a real easy access to each one of the, the guns. It lies completely flat for easy access there. And the, the zipper comes from both sides so that you can unzip one side and still have the other side zipped to keep the, the flap from falling all the way down. Give you a close up of the leather. This is cowhide, very nicely embossed there. And we have the bottom. We don't have the little feet on this. We just got a smooth leather base. We have a little tassel. And then you've got the strap. If you wanted to change straps or if you didn't like straps, you could just pull that off. But you have that hook on either side. And the strap is adjustable so that you can adjust it to your length or if you want to do a cross body carry on it rather than just having it on your shoulder you could it was plenty long to be able to carry it that way as well so you got some choices there and i'm only five foot two so i'm going to keep it way up but if you're a little bit taller would you like to try oh it? sure you can he doesn't normally carry a purse he could adjust that. Yeah, it would be real easy to get it adjusted to where you just take this buckle here and slide it down. And it's got a lot of extra material here that you can adjust that thing to get it to whatever height you need to be to be able to, to do it. Now in the middle, I do not overload a purse because I really don't carry a purse much. Mostly I use my pockets, but on Sundays, I'm sometimes wearing a dress where I don't want lumps and bumps, so I carry a purse. So it, it actually has pretty good pocket cavity. This is not a huge purse, but you don't really want to carry a huge purse if you don't need it. Yeah, the actual size on it, um, and of course, what I was about to tell you is not there. Um, but it, it's roughly eight inches tall by about 10 or 11 inches long and about three inches thick. We can measure that later. So all I've got in there is my wallet and my pocket knife. But that is what that inside looks like. Then this back side here also opens a good bit. I've got a book in here. And then I got my phone in here. And when you look in down there, you if you want to carry individual cards, that's a possibility. If you have a little bitty phone or a magazine, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Something right. skinny would go in there. This is our uh, RFID protection. So the idea behind that is that people can't come up and scan your credit card. And then you that opens a good bit if you need more access there. Mm -hmm. So I don't put much in a purse, but you could get quite a bit more in if you were interested in doing that. And the, the closure on that is a magnet rather than a snap 
but you can hear it positively catch there as it's as you close the flap. Now, as far as the color, it comes in this color and then a more brown color. This is the black cherry here, and I think the other one is called tan. And this color, I've actually been eyeing this purse for a long time because it is such a nice looking purse. It's a good size and it's actually made for concealed carry. This goes with everything I've worn this week, except I wore a burnt orange dress today and I couldn't make it match that because burnt orange and this is basically burgundy, not so much, but all my blacks and navies and browns do well with the black cherry. And um, I think you could get away with a true red. Mm. Just probably not orange. Yeah. Yeah, the orange was a little bit much, but uh, it's a very nicely constructed purse. Gun Toten Mamas is one of the probably more well-known brands of concealed carry purses. And this one is very nicely done. The, the tooling on the leather uh, is deep enough so that it actually gives you some texture to the leather and the stitching around all of the flaps and everything is very well, well done. You don't see any zigzags in the, the stitching or any missed stitching on it, uh, but it's very nicely done. Now, I've actually been known to use non-concealed carry purses um, as well as concealed carry purses just because I want it to match what I'm doing. But I do like the fact that the, what, this one has a specific place for it. Because one thing you do want to do when you have a concealed carry purse or pocket is put nothing else in that pocket except the gun because you don't want paper clips getting in there or lint or uh, a mint. because your, that your will keys or, or anything like that. That will cause a malfunction in the gun that will catch on the gun and cause you to shoot when you didn't intend to and it will just make you fumbly when you're trying to reach for the gun and you're probably in a hurry if you're reaching for your gun out of your purse. And the ones that have the built-in holster are very nice so that the holster is already there and you can have the gun secured in the holster so it's not going to be flopping around in the purse and you know what the orientation of the gun is going to be every time you reach in there to get it it's going to be in the exactly the same place because that holster is velcroed in place and it's holding the gun where it's supposed to be the only feature that i would have wanted if this was the perfect purse would have been an outside pocket for the phone some purses will have just a little slash here and you put your phone right there in that and then your phone's always accessible but that's not totally necessary because it actually did fit nicely as you saw in this little card section so it was not a problem it's just that's just a preference but this works just fine and there's no danger of dumping it out if it's in there or somebody coming by and swiping it as yeah. it's on the, the side of your purse so that is actually an added security feature now the way Devor works uh, it's kind of a clearance house for Optics Planet. Uh, you can catch a lot of good deals on there, but you've got to be quick sometimes in getting them because the, if you want to call them auctions, only last a certain amount of time or they only last as long as they have the merchandise in stock. So this one, uh, we were able to get almost, um, not quite half off, I think it was like 40% off uh, based off of what the retail price would have been on Devor. Uh, so they have some really good pricing on their site and also have a lot of really good products on there. So if you're looking for a good concealed carry purse, check out the Gun Toting Mamas. And if you can find it on Optics Planet or Devor and get a really good deal on it, even better. Check out DoubleEagleGunWorks.com for more information and like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.